Uh, please introduce yourself briefly and also the hospital you work in, work for in Germany. Yes. Um, thank you very much for having me here. Yeah. Um, my name is Felix Beard. I'm a medical doctor from Germany. Mm -hmm. um, the institution where I come from is the Department of Surgery in Cologne. Cologne University um, in the middle west of Germany. This department has specialized on diseases of the esophagus and the stomach, especially cancer diseases, and it has the highest volume of esophageal cancer surgeries within Europe. Mm -hmm. um, so the department where I come from is already specialized on that part of the body mm -hmm. and um, uh, ever since I was trained there I was very engaged with this kind of surgery and this kind of um, research in this disease. Mm -hmm. How long have you been training and in which department actually you said? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I started training in 2012 yeah. there uh, after I graduated from uh, uh, med school and um, the training in Germany is a little bit different than in Korea I learned so um, the residency training is longer and the program is not very standardized so it's a little bit more flex flexible um, however most of the time I do spend with I did spend with uh, uh, surgery of the upper GI tract, so we say uh, uh, we we describe uh, um, the esophagus and the stomach as upper GI. During my time in Cologne, of course, uh, I also rotated in other departments, as it is usual in in the German system. Mm -hmm. uh, were you aware of Korea or Seoul National University Hospital even before you decided to take a training course yes. here? I was. Very beware of SNUH, mm -hmm. of the activities of Gastric Cancer Department, Seoul National University Hospital. I was not very familiar with Korea as a country. Yeah. So, um, which didn't matter for me because I wanted to go here for uh, uh, my profession and to have more experience uh, with uh, gastric cancer surgery, gastric cancer science, uh, and certainly. The, this department here is very famous mm -hmm. for its surgery, but also for its scientific output. Oh. Uh, why did you choose for uh, Seoul National University Hospital for your medical training? Maybe yes. this is the answer. Of well, yeah. there, the, the answer is maybe I can explain a little bit more. So, yeah. um, the, this hospital has a very high volume of patients. Yeah. So many patients with gastric cancer come here to be treated by a surgeon or by a medical oncologist. On the other hand, this hospital also has very bright research facilities mm -hmm. and the doctors, uh, professors, uh, uh, fellows, even residents take advantage out of this and produce uh, important scientific evidence uh, and help to always go to the next step in, mm -hmm. uh, in medical treatment for gastric cancer. This will also be true for other diseases in SNUH, but as I'm uh, mostly uh, encouraged with uh, gastric cancer, I, I take it as an example. And certainly it's, uh, uh, it's a very good example talking about the gastric cancer department here in SNUH. So it's a combination of, out of a uh, very active clinical uh, situation and then also a very uh, a good uh, ground for a research, mm -hmm. for a clinical research, which means a research on the patient, how to treat the patient, maybe uh, even randomize, compare uh, treatment A against treatment B, but also basic research, so go to the lab and uh, make uh, some investigation on single cells or, uh, or uh, uh, genetic background of the cancers, whatever is possible here in SNUH. So this is a very good reason to come here when you're interested in gastric cancer. And there is not so many departments in the world providing those uh, facilities and, uh, and this um, combination out of uh, clinical and uh, research facilities. And I think for me, this was the best place 
in the whole world for this. Okay. And how did the people around you, like your family or mm -hmm. colleague, respond when you told them that you were going to attend a co training course at SNUH? Yes, my 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 core family, so my wife and I have two kids. Uh, definitely, I talked to my wife before mm -hmm. uh, deciding to go here. So this was a family decision. This was not only my decision. So I uh, I wanted to do this and. Um, uh, I proposed, but uh, certainly this decision was also uh, supported by my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, when I informed other people in my environment, uh, I think uh, not ev everybody. So people that are uh, uh, that are surgeons or doctors or uh, cancer researchers, they will understand this very easily because mm -hmm. they know about the situation of gastric cancer in Korea and gastric cancer surgery and gastric cancer science. People that are not in the medical field would probably not mm -hmm. immediately know the reason, but I experienced that the people that I talk to, uh, even they have not been maybe to South Korea, they would consider this country as a very, very modern country. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can imagine that you find something here that will be interesting for you mm -hmm. and your work. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I had positive feedback. And uh, what was the first impression of SNUH? Uh, do you by any chance remember your first day at SNUH? Yes, I came to SNUH in 2016 for a pre-visit. So this is, I think, very important if you want to go abroad and, and stay for two years uh, and you, you want to be sure about your decision because uh, uh, this will be maybe a chance you have once in your life to do that. So um, I came here uh, uh, one year before I finally came here for a two weeks visit and um, I can remember this I cannot remember my first impression actually but uh, this hospital is very busy very dense so uh, there's a small space but many many people yes so I think the volume of the hospital is a uh, uh, comparable to some bigger hospitals in Germany uh, overall volume but uh, I think the, the area is a very narrow and um, I think this was my first impression that it, it should be a very busy place. Um, and then the impression of the gastric cancer surgery, which I already observed in that time, uh, was, I mean, that was very impressive because I could see it is a daily routine, they carry out operation, maybe the, in one month there is a more uh, operation that that the most uh, even high volume centers for gastric cancer in Europe will have in one year. Mm -hmm. So immediately you can see that it's a very active place for this. Uh, could you tell us what you've experienced during your training here? Yes, this is a very uh, long answer to a very simple question. So I've experienced a lot in two years, as you can imagine. So first of all, Maybe the first year was a very clinically active, so I was uh, very much involved in the surgery, which is, I think, very important to know how the department is working. So the department of surgery clearly is based on the surgery that is carried out. So I was uh, very engaged with this uh, in my first year, and uh, already I see there is many clinical trials that um, are carried out, and how the surgery is carried out, some technical points, we had a, uh, a lots of workshops uh, also on animals to uh, test new uh, techniques in surgery and new devices maybe. Um, and then the second part of my stay was more uh, scientific. So I was developing some, uh, some tools of measurement for outcome or for um, uh, some techniques that I could implement in the studies that I carried out. And um, I was more uh, focused on that, that research part. Um, but this is, again, this is the perfect combination because as a doctor in academic fields, both is very important. So being a doctor and having the skills to be a good surgeon uh, as a surgeon is uh, uh, elementary. Um, on the other hand, if you want to work in a university hospital, you should also share your experiment, uh, experience scientifically to 
uh, always go to the next level. And for this, uh, um, I, I had I had the best experience maybe in the second part, which is also a natural course because uh, when you go abroad, uh, at first you have to establish yourself, your life, your professional life. And then once you're established, then you can start to do things that you want to do. So this takes some time. And of course, uh, Korean culture and Korean uh, country is very different from, from Europe and from Germany. So uh, maybe uh, it is good to take some time uh, until you uh, uh, establish yourself. So after this, then is the time where you can actively participate and then eventually harvest uh, from your uh, work. You finished training course, so how do you feel now? I feel good. Uh, I felt good when I came here. I, feel I still feel good when I return, so this is a good sign, I guess. I cannot say that I'm sad now when I go back to Germany. I think it's the right time. I still have uh, plans in Germany. Um, I think it's, it's just I can what I learn here, now I can take it to Germany and, and start uh, uh, whatever I can do there. On the other hand, I also f don't feel that um, I will simply leave Korea uh, because I will definitely come back. Uh, and what is more important now, I'm very sure that we can maintain the relationship uh, between me and this department. And um, I'm, I'm very sure that um, it's not the end at the moment uh, when I return. So. Um, that gives me a good feeling, mm -hmm. even when I'm leaving and even uh, when I had a very good time here. And um, it, it would be, it, I, I don't think that, that the relationship would change so much over time because now it became very stable in the, la in the last two years. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice would you like to give to your colleague if they want to attend the training courses at SNUH? What advice I want to give? Yes. I would recommend to take also maybe the time of one and a half or maybe two years, which is a very long period maybe, but it is uh, worth to take this period because then you might experience some things that you cannot experience when you stay for six months or uh, one month or one week. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's worth to spend that time here. It will be beneficial for both sides. So I um, I think <laughs> actually Koreans we work very quickly, but still I uh, I do I do suggest that uh, some time is is beneficial for both sides, especially when you want to do some serious scientific work. For the only for the clinical experience, one week can be already terrific mm -hmm. because of the high number of patients. So uh, it, my advice would depend on the aim of the person. So you want to see some high quality surgery, mm -hmm. not only gastric cancer surgery in Professor Young's department, also all the other departments that I have uh, sneaked in. Yes, it's a, it's, it's a high standard. So if you want to see some, some surgery, one week can be great, one month is even better, but uh, certainly you don't have to stay for two years. If you want to, if you want to be involved in the scientific activities of a department. Uh, would you like to leave farewell and thank you message to your professor and colleague? Yes, sure. In, in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, dear colleagues, dear professors, dear Professor Young, it has been a terrific journey in the last two years uh, of my stay here in Seoul National University Hospital Department of Gastric Cancer Surgery. I learned a lot. I experienced a lot. Uh, I'm very happy with my experience. I think it's a very unique experience that uh, a German doctor or a European doctor or a Western doctor could have. And I'm very happy that I took this opportunity. Now it's also upon me to maintain this relationship and all the friendships that you shared with me. And I'm very sure I will do this. I will do my very best to do so. And I hope I can soon show you some of the results that I can accomplish in Germany. Uh, 
using everything that I learned here and uh, I would be very happy to share it with you then. So uh, on the other hand, I could also already invite you as soon as I have arrived. Uh, I would be very happy to, to be the host of uh, anybody uh, who wants to, to come to Germany. Thank you very much. Uh, the interview is the end and thank you for this okay. interview.